Hi, this video is about bipolar. Um, my name is David. I'm 43 years old. I live in Warner Robins, Georgia. Um, to me, this is what bipolar is about. The medication and pills every day that you got to take. You know, that's part of it. And seeing a doctor. And I still should be seeing a counselor or somebody just to talk to. But anyways, um, I wanted to just talk about bipolar and just tell my experience about it. And I think the first time I um, thought I had something was in high school. Um, I was like a straight A student and I all of a sudden started just like failing my classes uh, couldn't get to school couldn't do my homework couldn't listen in class it was just I was pretty I'm pretty sure it was depression I was like in a depressed mode um, and not sleeping so I'm probably was in like a cycle but um, 2003 I was diagnosed with bipolar so I was 36 years old and First time I was hospitalized was in 1997, and they didn't know what was going on. And then I was hospitalized in 2003, and that's when I knew about bipolar and been trying to work on it. But um, and I'd like to say is like you know I'm 43 years old. I don't know who will watch this or if anybody will watch it, but. Um, it just really, I mean, I just heard so many people and their stories about it. And the only thing I could help you with is like, just hopefully you're going to get a diagnosis, you know, and then you could go from there and get as much information you can about it. And like right now, I live in an apartment and you know, I draw this ability. I did part time in the Air Force 18 years. I'll have to wait till I'm 60 to get the retirement, but at least I'll get the retirement. At least I was able to finish. And in all those years I was doing part time in the Air Force, I didn't know. And that's how I had to get out. Once I found it, well, you know, I had to tell about the medicine I was taking. I volunteered in 2006 to go to Iraq, so. That's kind of crazy right there, and, and that had something to do with bipolar, I'm sure. I'm sure that was a grandiose, you know, what they're talking about, grandiose. And you can, or I can look at the symptoms of bipolar and information about bipolar, and it's just like, like, fits me to a T, I mean, like depression and mania and, um, grandiose um, getting in trouble with people I got in trouble today with some with some neighbors over a stupid football it was stupid um, anyways uh, I'm trying to think you know what to say I mean I was gonna talk 15 minutes get this posted um, let me talk about the hospitalizations. I mean, in 1997, I was working in Atlanta and was hospitalized. I just drove to urgency room and then eventually wound up in a, in a what they call a charter where you go. And, you know, that was pretty crazy. I mean, and I was able to get back to work, but I went back home, I was able to move from Atlanta and go back home and things got better. I lived with my aunt and then I lived with my brother and then um, struck out on my own again and in 2003 when something happened again and uh, so and I went that time in a state hospital. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie Girl Interrupted but it's really that bad. and. It was, it was terrible. I mean, there were some scary people in there. And I didn't sleep much either. 
and the doctor said he'd found amphetamines, amphetamines, however you say it, and that kind of scared me, and this, you know, it was tough, and then I got out, you know, it was tough too, you know, and, and then 2006, I got again, but now I have trazodone, I've added another medication, and it's called trazodone, T-R-A-Z-O-D-O-N-E, and it's very effective, and um, I use that for when I'm having the sleeping trouble, because, I mean, even right now I'm probably having some, and it was just like crazy, like, sometimes I'll sleep a lot, I want to sleep a lot, and but I don't never sleep like eight hours straight, six hours straight. It's if I sleep six hours straight or eight hours, I'm, it's because I was real tired or something. And it might even be in the daytime. But I mean, medication, therapy, and all that stuff is really hard. I mean, especially like you know, I use the Phoenix Center. Which that place is okay, but they're real busy and and I really should find some more help with doctors and stuff like that and counseling, but it's kind of hard. I mean, I do have Medicare and I could look around, I guess, but I don't know. I guess I'm probably just thinking I'll stay where I'm at, you know, I probably should get some extra help. That, um, uh, that's the hospitalization thing. Not 97, 2003, and 2006. And, um, I can talk about the behavior. I mean, I just got in trouble with some neighbors today over football. Because I tried to claim that the football was mine when I found it. Because I wanted these uh, two other kids to be able to play with it. And it started a big old fight, and I did eventually give the football back, eh, but it still was kind of embarrassing. And, like, I got $16,000 in back pay one time, and it was gone in just a couple of months. And, and it's been a struggle financially just to live in this one bedroom apartment. And, you know. All I'll do right now, I go to the Phoenix Center, take my medicine. Like, I'll see the doctor in about three months. And that's the psychiatrist, so he don't really, you know, talk for too long. But, uh, I'd like to find a counselor and has, you know, some things to shoot for. But, I don't know. I need to check into it. I'll get a roommate. Um, hopefully, she's coming Friday. And she has bipolar too, so maybe we can help each other. But, um, anyways, um, you notice the beard. Yeah, what it is, I don't like the shaves. So I let my beard grow out, so, and, you know, I'm 43 years old, I have high blood pressure, I take pills for that, cholesterol, I take pills for that. I know I weigh too much. Uh, I drink too much soda all the time, I smoke. It's not, it's not a good life, hey. I wish I weighed less, I wish I weighed under 200 and exercise, played basketball, played tennis or something, and then you know, I feel better, you know, and I wish I had more energy, I mean, I don't feel like I got much energy today, and it's hard to keep my house clean, and it's just, I don't know, and I know I should push myself and, and do better, you know, and I don't work, because I, I did go on disability finally, and I, I had to, and there was no way around it. I wasn't able to get full-time employment, you know, with benefits. And then I had to get out of the Air Force, 
you know, because I told them the pills I was taking, because 2006, I volunteered to get in Iraq, which is pretty crazy. Like I said earlier, I think I said that. But, um, uh, you know, and what are you going to do? I mean, I do, I donate blood plasma on Mondays and Fridays. It pays about $50 a week, and I do that, you know, and that's the way it goes, and, um, Yeah, I'd like to, you know, tell you about the medicines, you know, I take, um, I take, uh, in the morning, I'll take 250 milligram Depakote, take one of those, and then I'll take Paxil, and at night, I take Depakote, so, um, basically, I believe I'm bipolar one, they call it, you know, I have mania, and I do have depression but it's the mania you know the moods you know the Depakote is for the moods and the Paxil's for the depression and the anxiety and um visceral seems to help um and I think I said something about the trazodone so we got the medication see the psychiatrist you know that's all I have right now I use dailystrength.org as a site to talk with people, but I really should be talking to a counselor, and I may check into it. I have a lot of bills I didn't pay, and and I bought a motorcycle, and uh, that's probably wasn't the smartest thing to buy. You know, I probably should have got like a truck or something. I didn't really think of because now I think how I could cut grass or something like that you know to have extra income I mean I could still cut grass if I wanted to my sinuses are real bad though when it comes to being outdoors but um anyways and you just don't know day to day what kind of energy you'll have so but I do have a dog Hey, he's laying right here on the sofa. So I do have a dog. You know, I got a small apartment. But, you know, that's, it's not a low income apartment, so. You know, and you know, I gotta have a cell phone, you know, like that, you know, which I should change that. And, um, gotta have the high definition television, which, you know, could get by without. You know, it's like the extras, you know, that you want, like everybody else has got. But, I mean, it's just a struggle, I mean. And I'm about out of time. I think this can go 15 minutes. Um, anyways, if anyone wants to know more, um, contact me here and um, I can tell you sites that I use and other people but I just wanted to talk about bipolar just bipolar and how what happened to me and you know some of the meds I take and God, I wish I could tell you more information you know but it's like a daily thing to work with and you take your meds and try to get your sleep and eat you know and you need to exercise and I don't eat right so lots of things I have to work on but um I don't know I'm trying to think what else I can tell you about bipolar um, it's a combination of mood swings, mania, and depression, and a lot of things, and you have to be careful, but 